everyone, my name is Dova. My mom is Hello. And welcome to our reaction channel. <laughs> and today we're continuing with our Game of Thrones reactions. We're in season 3, episode 4. And now his watch has ended. Okay, where do we leave? Oh, wait, no. Before we start our reaction, hold on. For the full length reactions, like usual, you can go check them out on my Patreon. I've linked to it in the description box down below and in the comments. Okay, dokie, let's go. Okay, so where do we leave off? Okay, well, Kat, her dad is dead, and there was that funny. Right. <laughs> there was that funny scene in here. But her dad's dead, and Kat, poor Kat's all like sad. And right. And yeah, I still never did. Someone, if you know how to make oh, that yeah. prayer loopy loopy thing, that leave a comment. Making, that only mothers can make. Only mothers can make. Yeah, so for their children. Yes. <laughs> oh, post it out there for me, please. <laughs> or if you guys like know where to buy one, let us know. I want to make one. No, I know, but I'll, but just if you know where to get one, also. <laughs> yes, that, give us. Yeah, tell us how to make it, or and or where to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. Uh, man, I don't even know. Let's see. Danny says she's gonna give up one of her dragons. I don't think she is. Um. And everything else on top of it. Oh yeah, like her Dothraki and and her gold, her gold and her ship it. and yeah. Her, yeah, that is not happening. Um, well, Gilly, she gave birth to baby boy. Yeah, and poor <laughs> Sam watched it right there at the end, so we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> Theon was saved by that Yara's guy. Right. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, other stuff happened. I'm sure tons of other stuff happened. Yeah. Oh yeah, Pod. Pod is um. The man. He's the man. <laughs> oh my god. Why are we not talking about the most obvious? Uh, Jamie got his hand cut off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he saved Brienne from getting raped. Right. And he got his hand chopped off for it, I guess. Mm, like that's, I, that's a shocker. Like I said, I'm calling. I think it's because he pushed Brienne out the window. It's karma coming back around. There you go. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, that's probably about it. I yeah. Mean, Okay. You know, others, there will be other stuff, but there's like so much that I can't even remember. I'm looking at my notes, but I'm like, if, unless we want to spend the next like 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yep. Yes. <clears throat> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, God, there's the hand. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, they're tied oh. around his neck? Yes. Do you think we could shove up his ass? Oh, poor Jamie. He's like, just kill me now. <laughs> I know. Well, Jamie, A for effort for trying. I know. Yes. Oh. No. I'm watching. <laughs> no, I know. Now I'm trying to give you comfort. <laughs> okay, I don't like watching that stuff. Oh. Now. Okay, he's done. Oh, you say he's done. I thought he was. Okay, now I think he's done. He's done now. And I'll take your other hand. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought he was done. I legitimately I thought he was done. That was not me trying to deceive you, I swear. Oh, God, it's by his head like that? Oh. Okay, they make you feel bad for Jamie here. I know. Even though I'm sure he's done some pretty bad shit to have people himself. So it's karma, but still. He gave me a potion that made me powerless to move or speak, yet did nothing to dull my senses. Oh. With a hook to blade, he sliced Ugh. root and stem, chanting all the while. Yeah. He burned my parts in a brazier. Mm. The flames turned blue, and I heard a voice answer his call. And soon learned that the contents of a man's letters are more valuable than the contents of his purse. Hmm. A sorcerer. <laughs> Hello, my old friend. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> so Varys is like, just be patient. Is he very large? No larger than usual, apparently. And yet they said that he was... Extraordinary. Most extraordinary man they've ever met. You know what they're talking about? Uh, they've had a lot of men. We're talking about the same Podrick. Call that boy in Lord Tyrion's service seems a bit simple. What did he do to them? I don't know, my lord. The girls are usually quite descriptive. So what did they say? They said it was hard to describe. Huh. <laughs> 
Gott. Okay. <laughs> He's like, what? What is this? People applauding me? People liking me? <laughs> of course, she <laughs> hates it. <laughs> My real father lost his head at King's Landing. Oh, <laughs> Theon. And the show's wrong. Droysian's mistake he made. No, burned everything down. Yep, he did. Not everything, my lord. Is this a trick? I'm not sure. Oh, you think it might be a trick? I don't know. No, I didn't. You can't. I have a feeling it was a trick. Mm. Please stop. Baby, uh. Okay, they didn't show anything. I'm just back to now Jamie getting tortured. <laughs> Jesus. Theon, Jamie, rough season for these guys. <laughs> this forge. You lost your hand. My sword hand. I was that hand. Hmm. Nice, Jamie. Yeah. Well, but she got him to eat, though. Mm hmm. So yeah, it's worth me. You told them Tarth was full of sapphires. It's called the Sapphire Isle because of the blue of its water. I knew that. Why did you help me? Well, we know. Yeah, because I mean, he, you know. He's not heartless. No, he's not. You're still here. Yes. <laughs> did it ever occur to you that I might be the one who deserves your confidence and your trust? Marjorie has her claws in Joffrey. Ah, of course, mm. it's not like that. Mm -mm. She knows how to manipulate him. Good. I wish you knew how to manipulate him. Oh, burn. Great mm -hmm. job. I don't distrust you because you're a woman. I distrust you because you're not as smart as you think you are. <laughs> You've allowed that boy to ride roughshod over you and everyone else in this city. Mm. And I'm putting my foot down. Yeah. He's king, but I'm calling the shots. Yeah. But a golden rose growing strong. Oh, that's like <laughs> fear in the heart. <laughs> oh, well, I know. Look, he has been made brighter by your presence. The city is made brighter by my presence. Is that your usual line, Lord Varys? You here to seduce me? A little obvious, perhaps. Oh, no, please. Seduce away. It's been so, <laughs> so long. Now I... Perhaps <laughs> you'll laugh, but I know him better than most, and this is the truth. Littlefinger is one of the most dangerous men in Westeros. If Robb Stark falls, Sansa Stark is the key to the mm -hmm. north. And if Littlefinger marries her, he'll have the key in his pocket. Which seems such a shame. Why should a man with such a low reputation steal away such a lovely bride? You must despise him. You're working so hard to undermine him. Actually, I rather enjoy him. <laughs> but he would see this country burn if he could be King of the Ashes. I didn't think he was wanting to marry her. I thought he was going to, I didn't know what he was going to do with her. No. A week after that, she came down with porridge plague. Porridge plague? <laughs> oh, you don't have it in the north. Your skin starts to look like boiled oats. Oh. And eventually your face slides off and you die of agony. Oh, God. Oh, that's awful. She's probably making that up. Yeah. <laughs> I believed you. <laughs> I want us to be friends. Good friends. Sansa needs a friend. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think the Queen would let me leave King's Landing. The Queen Regent, you mean? Once I marry Joffrey, I'll be Queen. And if you were to marry Loras... Oh, is that their plan? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what Varys had to talk to Elena about. Because <laughs> he doesn't want Littlefinger getting his clutches on her. So Mary, you're off to Loris. She, lo she likes Loris. She does like it, yeah. She doesn't know, unfortunately, that he's not into women, but... But, yeah. He came to us from... Where did he come from? <laughs> Down by Harbour Way. He's a bloody wildling, all he is. He's not obligated to feed you. I could smell so good. Ew. Oh, God. 
Ew! Oh, it's terrible. I know, right? It took me a second to realize what he just <laughs> said. I had my 99. Oh, God. Oh, God. You ever meet a man with 99 sons? Well, they're all dead, so no. You are a bastard. Do oh! A daughter fucking. Oh! Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh! Oh! 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 I didn't see that one coming. A mutiny. Yep. Yeah. He's still going. He's like. Yeah, baby Sam, get out of there. He's like, I'm gonna go find Gilly and that baby. <laughs> right? I know, Sam, you can't fight very well, so get out of there. No! <laughs> oh. oh. And sleep well! I'll be cutting your throat one of these nights! Oh gosh. Those guys went a little loco. Oh, they're hungry. Yeah. I sentence you to trial by combat. No. Oh. So, who will it be? Should we find out if your fire god really loves you, priest? Or is the little girl the bravest one here? I just like, oh, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> she might be. Oh. Serious? But it's me you'll find. Oh. I was gonna say, don't do that to poor I know, Annie. yeah, I already wouldn't stand a chance. She's too tiny. <laughs> Hi, baby. I know, our puppy finally came up. Danny looking badass like fierce. usual. I actually think I should have fierce face on. Oh, she's gonna tell him the fire word. Oh, you think so? Sure. Jakaris, that's the word. Zadrizes buzdaris kos daor. Zidraji valera. Nige dai neres chel masmo entar gere ol entrat. En valeria we po anagar exante. Valeria munioengos nuhis isa. So she's been knowing he's been saying that whole time. Yep. Drakaris. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dan's like, I'm just not gonna hand over my baby. That's funny that she knew he was saying yeah. that whole time. <laughs> yeah. Jorah's like, ah, oh, I think I'm more in love. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Take it that means yes. Yeah. <laughs> Those two are like, okay, okay. Me and her. We're impressed with her, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mr. is like, I chose right, coming back, you know, finding her. <laughs> I know, she does look so badass. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is one of her best moments. <laughs> I mean, look at how the people she's good at, and her big army. She's got I know. three babies. She's got, she still has her gold. And she has a ship. <laughs> but she's gonna need more than one ship to get all those people across, but. <laughs> What? Okay, I gotta pause this and my poor baby's gonna fall right behind me. Nah. I think. There we go. Lisa's nose my poor is... puppy, he's down here. <laughs> you guys can't see him. But he's, um. In back of you. Yeah, he's in back of me. I realized, <laughs> I was saying, I'm looking like, why does it look so dark? Because we're flashing that light on. Oh, yeah. I forgot to turn the light on. It looks darker. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, you got that pillow. And now I got this pillow behind me, yeah. Okay. So this episode, fun stuff. Yeah. So we started off, or just got your time. So we started off with Jamie. Yep. And his hand was dangling from around his neck. Um, and so we talk about Jamie and Brienne. So Jamie's, he tried fighting, but it didn't go his way. No. And I think he just thought, you know, just let's get this over and just kill me already. <laughs> yeah. And of course, this puppy is moving. He's moving, okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> um, and the one dude, so the dude who has him, the main dude of their of his captors, his name is Locke, but they don't actually say his name, but it's Locke. Um, 
And, yeah, and there's just kicking him when he's down, feeding him horse piss and all that good stuff. But, anyway, but then later on, Brienne is getting on Jamie's case because Jamie's just given up. Right. And she's like, okay. So you've had a little bit of misfortune. He's like, misfortune? Like, <laughs> my hand got chopped off. <laughs> and, of course, she's like, you, you know. She's like, worse shit than that. Right? She's like, you get a taste of the real world for the first time, and you whine, and you cry, and you quit. She's like, you sound like a bloody woman. <laughs> But Jamie's her seat, and then she tells him, she's like, I know what you did. Where I come from, you know, it's called the separate right. house because the blue bits of water. But you knew that. But you knew that. So he, he, he knew that, yeah, obviously. Yeah. So, of course, he was just going to save her. And like she was saying, why would you do that? And we know. Because he has some, he has some respect for her, I think. Definitely. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and we've seen that like when he looked depressed, like when she was being the, the one Northman, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and he, I think even battling him and... Well, and then, too, she never, like, whenever he was chastising her and trying to get underneath her skin, it never phased she her. She wouldn't let it, yeah. 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 Um, okay. And so, then we get to Varys and Tyrion. <sighs> and Varys is telling the story about how he was right. cut. And how, you know, that's why he saw dark magic. Because the sorcerer cut off his parts and fed him to the flames and all that stuff. And the point of Varys' story, did you understand what the point of it was? Well, because he had the sorcerer right there, and he's yeah. going to get revenge and kill him. Yeah, but did you understand the point he was trying to make to Tyrion? Oh, that you just got to be patient and wait for your yeah, wait time, for wait yeah. for it. Yeah, because Varys was like, I've been waiting all this time, and if he finally found the sorcerer. Right. Even though it might have taken him years and years and right, years. Right, right, right. Because Tyrion's like, I want revenge against... No, I want now. I want now. Varys is right. like, you guys, be patient. So we'll see how patient Tyrion can be. Not. Um, one line, though, that I liked that Varys said, he said, I f and I don't know if I'm saying this verbatim because I didn't write it down verbatim, but he said along the lines, I find that, you know, what's in a man's letter is more valuable than the contents of his purse. Mm. You know, so what his secrets, what he's writing are more valuable than mm. money. Mm. So, you know, his master whispers, right, what the secrets, the knowledge, right, that's more valuable than, than money. Right. Okay. And then, well, I'm glad you knew what that meant. Why did you not know what that meant? No. Thank you for explaining it. Well, you're welcome. There you go. <laughs> well, it just made sense for... I, it sounded cool, but I really didn't, like, sink it. Man, I'm too tired. It just, like, didn't even sink in, like, what it meant. No. It's like, I know. I just thought it was cool. That's the thing. Rewatching the show, you know, it's not like I caught a lot of the stuff the first time. By right, anything. right. But rewatching, I'm like, ooh, I like that line, you know, so... Yeah. Okay, and then, um... Maybe it's Sam and Gilly, and he, well, he was trying to just talk to, talk her. to her. And she's like, you got to help get me out of here. I'll save my baby. Yeah. And since we're talking about the Night's Watch, we just finished talking about them. Yeah. So we get our mutiny. Yeah. And poor the Lord Commander, poor Jorah yeah. is now dead. Yeah. You did not see that coming. No, I didn't see that one coming. Yeah. It's definitely a shocker. Yeah. Well, I mean, because the, all of the other knights, well, not all of them, but some of them, are, you know, they're angry about being hungry. Right. You know, being cold, all that stuff. So, and it's like, yeah, like, Craster was not obligated to take them in or give no. them food. No. You know, he was not, I mean, even though Craster was, was a bastard. Right. But, like, he wasn't obligated to do that. Um, you know, they were just being, you know. Yeah. Well, but I don't blame him for being angry about being hungry, but. Right, especially when he has the food and the resources, the but yeah. I can understand coming to Craster, but then they took it out on Lord Commander, and it was like Night's Watch against each other. Yeah. And so. And Sam's like, ooh, we gotta get, we gotta gotta get, get out, out of here. here. So he's gonna get, try to get going out. Oh, because he knew he probably would have been killed because some of the guys didn't care for him, so. Yeah, Rast is the name of the guy that's always, like, taunting him. Yeah. And the funny thing about Rast, it's like. Dude, you know, he's always calling Sam like a pig and stuff, and I'm like, Rash, you're not exactly the slimmest of all men either, so I don't know what you're getting on his case about. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, so we'll see if he gets out with Gilly or not. <laughs> yeah, because Sam's not the best fighter. No, but it seems like Gilly maybe knows. She, some, knows, she knew where to Well, go. she knows her way around there, like yeah. well, the other guys wouldn't. They wouldn't, yeah. So she'd know where to like hide, where people wouldn't be able to find you or see yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what do you, how do you think that's going to go with the mutiny happening? I don't know. Poor Night's Watch are divided, I, I guess. I guess the, yeah, who knows who will, yeah, prevail or what will happen or if they'll just go their separate ways or. Mm -hmm. But then all the the women that are there, like, you know. Are they, well, because that, oh yeah, I'm sorry, continue. Yeah, I mean, who knows, you know, are they going to, what's they going to do with them, so. Because that's the thing, I think it's easy to forget that not all the Night's Watch are like this, but a lot of them 
you know, were criminals that yep. came up there. Yeah. You know, a lot of them were rapists and murderers and I think we tend to forget that, but they get a lot of these guys from the dungeons. Mm-hmm. You know, they have the option either pretty much be executed or, or take the law or take the black. So I think it's easier to forget that a lot of these dudes are criminals. Mm-hmm. That just go away sometimes. So, yeah. yeah so we'll see what happens. Because we're so used to ones like Sam and John. Right. And like Gran and you know, all of them. Like they're they're not they weren't criminals when well well, I don't know, like Grand they might have came in for petty crimes, but like right. Sam and John, you know, they're such good guys. Right. And they're you know, they weren't there for crime reasons, so it's, right. it's easy to forget that the other night that a lot of them are aren't That's exactly true. That's the bestest true. of men. That's true. Because I know I can forget it. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm tired. Um, no, it's okay. And then, oh yeah, it's okay. Oh yeah, so Bran, he had his dream. Yeah. George, Jojen told him to climb up to get to the Raven. Right. And his mom shows up and she's yeah. like, stop climbing. Did you understand it? Because I'm trying to think if I understand it. What are your interpretations well, of it? Well, yeah, I don't know. Because is he supposed to be able to like, see like what's coming or see stuff? Like... Because that, like, happened in the past, not in the future. You're right, it did, yeah. So, you know, she kept telling them. Don't go climbing, and then he fell, like, when Jake Right, and then him. he climbed, right, 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 right. So, but that was past, not future, so I don't know. That's a good point, you're right. A lot of the other stuff was all future stuff he'd seen. So I yeah. don't know what that means. What future stuff has he Oh, right, like Ned and... and yeah, and then the... When the oncoming, the oncoming yeah. and, you know... Yeah, oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Let's we'll see. So yeah, I, I didn't even think about that being past. I'm not sure right. exactly what that means. But now that you said that, I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, dude, he is moving. My puppy is moving. <laughs> well, let's scooch forward then. Okay, we're just, we're just, we're up right here. Oh, because he was getting squished yeah. back there. I don't, I don't need that. I'm fine. Yeah, oh, poor puppy. Okay, I'm just going to lean like, I'm going to lay like this. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm trying to read my... Right, so then Varys goes to Roz and she's. Mm. What are they talking about? Littlefinger. Right. Littlefinger. And. Oh, right, and she told him, she gave him the clue that he's, te- he's getting two feather beds for Right, her. right. Like, why would he need an extra feather bed? Right. You're taking someone important. Because then Varys went to Lady Olena and was pretty right. much like. Or was it Roz? I oh, know, it was ahead of Lady Olena. You know, talking about if he marries Sansa, he'll have the. If Rob dies, right. then he'll hold the key to the north because they don't know. Because everyone just kind of, well, I don't know if, if they've heard of what ha- might have happened to Bran Rickon, but mm. everyone is, I think kind of assumes they're probably dead because they don't know where they are. Right. So reasonably, then Sansa, if all the other boys are gone, she, if you married right. her, you know, you would have you would be the key to Winterfell. Um, so of course, Varys is like, I don't want that happening. Right. <laughs> Too much power for a little finger. The little mm. finger said, well, we all know he's one of those dangerous men. No, that's right. Yeah, he's, he's pretty sneaky. He's a sneaky, sneaky plan. He is. Plan in. Um, and but then, of course, he's like, well, I have a plan to Lady Elena and, you know, to marry Sansa off to Laura since we got Marjorie to befriend Sansa. And... But do you think, do you think Marjorie's doing this just, you know, do you think she's like going along? Because I'm assuming Elena probably went to her and was like, right, right, right. You know, do this. Um, do you think Marjorie, do you think she really does care for Sansa? Like, do you think she really would want to be her friend in any other context? Or do you think this is more of just a, oh, we're just doing this to make sure that we have power? Because if Sansa is married to Loras and that us as Tyrell is, we're given more power. Do you think it's a combination? Like, a, both the power and a, I sort of want to help, help her out, be her friend? You know, I'd like to say that mm-hmm. she want you know, because like, I would like hope that she would want to be her friend, but I really mm-hmm. think it's more the power thing. Mm-hmm. And we do know Marjorie's good at playing with Joffrey, so it's it's easy to believe that she'd be pretty easy with Sansa. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I mean, I'd like in my heart to think that, but mm-hmm. I just don't know. So I'm gonna pretend that she really likes her. I mean, not that she doesn't like her. No, no, I want to help her. Yeah. But like, not like, you know. Like, like, would she do it to have the goodness of her own heart? Or would she do it because of ulterior motives? Right, right. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Yeah, but either way, Sansa does need someone on her side. Mm-hmm. So if she could get Even someone... if it's not 100% truthful, at least she's... Then at least if she could have someone on her side helping her out. And if she did get a Mary Loris, I mean, even though, yeah, he's not into girls, but, like... 
Hey. I mean, it's not like he would treat her like crap. No, I don't think he would. No, he would. He I mean, the, like mo that kind of the most it would be to do his duty and then pretty much leave her alone, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make small talk, do his duty, and then he'd probably go off with the mm -hmm. days. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which, I mean, sometimes it probably wouldn't be the most happy, but at least she wouldn't be like abused like she's been with Joffrey. Right, right. Um, okay, let's see. So then. All right, we saw, we saw more speaking about Marjorie. We saw her, you know, ten toying with Joffrey. Mm -hmm. Well, so they were in the Sept, the Sept of Baylor. Mm -hmm. So it's like their like their church in King's Landing, and um, and he's telling them where all these past Targaryens right. were buried, and um, and he's like talking about how like you know these Targaryens had done really bad things, and she's like, yeah, but they built this church, you know, this wonderful stuff. Um, anyway, so then they walk out. Onto the stairs, mm -hmm. and of course, Mar you know, waving to the crowd. Right. And Joffrey was like, "Oh, hey, hey, this is what it like. This is what it's like to be loved. Oh, this is kind of nice. This is kind of cool." He was kind of impressed by that. Mm. Of course, Cersei doesn't like it. Mm-mm. <laughs> Cersei knows. She can see it. Yeah. She knows what's going yep. on because she's smart. Yep. Though, like Tyrion said, you're not as smart as you think you are. Cersei's so getting jealous though, because she knows if I can't control him, Marjorie can control him, then I can't control him, you know, then, yep. it, then it makes her lose power. Well, even Marjorie, because even Marjorie was like, I love what she says to Sansa, because Sansa's like, the queen will never let me go. And Marjorie's, wait, what? You mean the queen regent? When I marry Joffrey, I'll be queen. Like, I love what she says that. Like, I know. Cersei won't have as much power. I don't know what the problem is. But of course, <laughs> I don't think Cersei wants to lose her power. That's the problem. Right? Mm mm. Yeah, and I, like I said, so yeah, because she went to Tywin, and he's like, and Cersei was like, you know, ha haven't you noticed? Like, right. Think I was always the one that paid attention and should yeah. be given the most respect. And at some moments like that, where there's a part of me that still feels bad for her. Yeah, yeah just, I know. Just a little bit, just because like you can see the injustice she's been given. Right. And you can see why that's probably shaped her the way she is. Right. Um, especially since Tywin's a hard ass of a dad. It's oh, yeah. It's that. That's Cersei kind of is the way she is. Right. Um, but yeah, but then of course Tywin said, you know, I don't distrust you because you're a woman. I just because you know, I don't think yeah. you're as smart as you think you are. Which is kind of funny. Um, okay. And then... Oh yeah, and then Theon. Oh, we have to talk about Theon. Oh yeah, so Theon, he's with whatever that dude. We don't know his name yet. Yeah, when they were sitting down and he was starting to unlock that thing, I thought, hmm. this isn't looking too good. I mm. just had a feeling it was a trap. And then when they started to go up, I'm like, this has got to be a trap. Yeah. And it was. Yeah. Oh. So, the, yeah, because well, the Theon, before they before the t twist trap was revealed, he was telling the dude, um, uh, what the heck? He was just talking about how he pretty much regretted. Right. Choosing his, his dad. His dad's, and his real father lost his head in King's Landing. Mm -hmm. Which I, I was like, oh, Theon. <laughs> like, that's so sad. Um, you know, but it took him a bit to realize that, you know, the Starks were always his family. Yeah. And I think he was okay with that until he went he back, went back to, to... Yeah, yeah, and his dad just planted seeds yeah. in his head. And, yeah. Yeah, and it's, so it's stuff like that that really does make me feel for Theon. And that's why... You know, part of me really does like his character art because it's just so interesting to me. Like, so the first yeah. time I watched this, I don't think I cared that much for Porky. Yeah. Watching this back, I'm like, wow. You know, I actually really do care for him. I feel bad for him. Um, and, yeah, but then, yeah, so the it was revealed he's back in the place. The one dude let him go. It was all a trap, a trick, I guess, a game maybe. I don't know. Let him go, brought him back. Because he was the one to let him go. Yeah. He was the one to bring him back. So who knows what's up with that? But poor Theon's like, shoot, Rooney. Okay, oh, so we'll see what's up with yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, and then... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we got the mini. Oh, okay, so we got the Brotherhood. Okay, so Arya and, mm. and, and the Hound and all that. Okay, so they show up in the Brotherhood's lair. No, they're hiding out. Okay, so the dude with the eye patch. Mm -hmm. That was Beric Dondarrion. Now, he was the one. It was because it was a different actor in season one. Was only oh, yeah, because like, I really remember him. From season no, one. it's okay because he he didn't even have any like speaking lines. He was just like there. Oh. <laughs> um, he uh he was there for like a brief little scene because he was the one that Ned said, you you know take like men and stuff like that to go track down the mountain and stop him. So it's a new actor, but like so he was he just was it was like a nod and then he left. And mm. that was it. <laughs> anyway, so this is so this is the uh, Beric Dondarrion. Okay, mm. so so he's the one that's kind of I think like leading the Brotherhood. Mm. Um. 
And so they decided, I think while they were out trying to hunt down the mountain and all the war was happening, I think they decided, you know, we're not going to play by, you know, the wolf of the lion's rules. We're just right. going to do our own thing. We're going to help fight, you know, I think for the people that are getting screwed over in this world. Right, right. I think right. that's what they're trying to do. And so then they're mad at the hound because they're like, oh, you're a murderer. Right. You need to pay for your crime. Right. And the hound's like, well... You know, he's like... So oh. I was born into it doesn't mean... <clears throat> well, and he, and he mentions the Targaryen children. Right. So the story... Okay, so back story really quick. Um, so, you know, Danny's older brother, they mentioned Rhaegar. Mm-hmm. And the, the one that died before she was born, the one that Robert killed. So he had... He was married to this woman named... Shoot. Elia, I think. Elia Martell. And they had two babies. Mm-hmm. Um, a little girl and a little boy. And so, after Rhaegar was killed in battle, when Robert killed him, and then when Danny's dad, the Mad King, was killed, the mountain killed the babies mm-hmm. and killed Rhaegar's wife, Elia. Mm-hmm. Well, supposedly he raped her and then killed mm-hmm. her. Um, anyway, so, so, the ma- so the Hound was like, oh, that was my brother who did that? He was like, I never had any part mm-hmm. to do with the Targaryen babies dying. Mm-hmm. You know? So that was just kind of what mm-hmm. they were talking about. All right, so, but then Arya mm-hmm. was like, well, yeah, but you killed Micah and right. and I don't know the entire off the Michigan. Yeah, and and but then the hound said he's like, yeah, but that was just my orders under Joffrey. So right. How can you really blame me for that? Right. And then they're gonna have a trial by combat, and I love that for a second. He thought he was really gonna fight Arya. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> no, poor child. But then Beric and Danny is like, no, you're gonna fight me. Okay. Okay. Then Let's... the last little bit, Danny. Oh yeah, sorry people, I'm fading. I'm She's tired. tired. <laughs> it's okay. So that's a little bit. So she gets her on Salid. Um, she took to Master Kazus. She she knew what he had been saying this entire time. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, because like you said, Valyrian was from mother tongue. Because her family, the Targaryens, were from Valyria, so it makes sense she would have, you know, brought been brought up on it. Um, yeah, and so yeah. That Basically, is, what she did, what I figured she would. I mean, not exactly, exactly like that, but I knew she had a plan. Well, I love that before before she told Drogon Dracar. You were like, she's going to say the fire word. <laughs> you knew she was going to say the fire Oh, you knew she was going to say the fire word. Yeah, I, I love that. what the fire word is, but Dracarys. I knew she was going to say it. What I love the music when she goes, Dracarys, and it goes, I love the music that plays. <laughs> I can't really do it, but you, but you guys know the music. I love the music. Anyway, and then she frees all the unsullied, all the slaves. Um, and she's like, she's like, I give you a choice now that you're free. You can fight for me or you can leave. And I think because they realized we are free, she said us free, we'll fight for her. Right. Because yep. frankly, what else would, I mean, what yeah. do yep. life they know? Okay, so Danny's leaving. Badass. His army. Cool. That's the end of the episode. Okay. Yep. You are Sorry, getting, I am tired. No, and, we are, and we are filming this a little bit later than usual, and we had a late night, night last night. night so she's a little sleepy. Yes, okay. Um, you did good for most of the discussion. I could tell. I was like, she is right. Right there at the end. Right yeah, we just got to wrap her up. <laughs> I was getting tired. That's okay. So, um, like usual, oh, and so if you guys have the episode, like usual, if you want the full length reaction, to go check this out on my Patreon. Link to in the description box down below. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, leave some nice likes and nice comments, all that good stuff. And, yeah, I mean, probably other stuff, but I just don't remember. Alright, so hope you guys have a beautiful day. So, goodbye, my love, Good night.